I think it's a way, this mask stuff, it's a way for the public to turn on the other other public, other citizens, they are public, because you're being compliant, you're wearing a mask, and you see somebody that's not wearing a mask. So in a way, it's, it's, it's a way the government wants us to police each other. We're policing each other. He's not got a mask on, going to chase him out of the shop. And in a way, like I'm the like it's it's weird, guys. It's it's weird because I'm I'm quite a rebellious character and I don't like complying with fucking shit. But I've got a work uniform on, so I've got like the company name on, on my t-shirt. So when I go into a shop, I have to wear the mask because they can easily phone the company. But if I was in my normal clothes, maybe I'd be a bit hesitant. If I was just going in and out quickly, I'd maybe forget about the mask. But when I'm working, I have to wear this fucking stupid mask. Um, and when you see people walking in, with like I seen a couple of junkies coming into the shop without the mask, and I was wearing the mask. I was standing at the Costa machine making a fucking Costa with a stupid fucking mask on, and these two junkies coming into the shop, uh, uh, and they brush past me. And I'm like fucking, uh, you know, I'm raging. I'm like, and and the first thing that comes into mind, my mind is like, they're not wearing their fucking masks. Uh, they're not wearing their masks. Those junkie bastards. And that's maybe what they want us to do. The governments want us to police each other. They're not wearing the masks. Uh, and these these junkies are probably exempt medically. They, 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 they've probably got breathing fucking conditions because they all the smack that they smoke or some shit. So this mask stuff, I, I don't think it's, it's to, to harm you in any way. I think it's it's a way to show compliance. It's a way to make the, the public, divide the public against each other. Because some people are hesitant about wearing them, some people, and it's just like people are now like pointing fingers. Oh, oh, he's not wearing a mask. Oh, 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 and it's like, how far can our government push us against each other? This Black Lives Matter stuff's the same. It's like, how far can they split us up and divide it, it, each other in the little bits? Um, so this mask stuff, I don't believe in the whole it's killing you and stuff. I, th I think it's more of a, a fucking obey, comply stand at your door hitting pots and pans getting show that you're look at me making the effort look at me wearing the mask i'm making an effort why don't you make an effort i'm making an effort why don't you make an effort that's 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 the vibe that, that we're getting in the public here and it's like i'm an upstanding citizen wearing my mask <laughs> you know what i mean it's like and, and like I said, I was guilty, like when I was in the shop, I was making my costa, I was standing there with a fucking stupid blue mask on because my missus can, she gets some masks from her work, so I get plenty of fresh masks. I'm standing there, two junkies walking without the masks on. Uh, so, I don't know, it's just a way that I think the governments are using to police each other. This control, this mask stuff, it's fucking, it's weird, it's weird, it's like, we're saying we're going back to normal, but I don't see any fucking normality um, since I've been back the last two weeks. Everything's still a bit touchy. Everything's still a bit weird. These big fucking, it's a Norwegian army gas mask for the fucking, I think it's the 70s or some shit, but it's a really creepy looking fucking thing. It's got weird eye parts. It's, it's evil looking. It's like some a Pink Floyd fucking video. I think I should take this into work and just walk around with it in these shops and terrify people. I don't think it's bad for your health, people. I do think it's a it's a it's a way to show that you're being a and they could be using some kind of new tech, guys. They could be using some kind of fucking new tech, like maybe they can maybe they can recognise you now without even seeing your face. Can the whole walk in? Everyone's got like a unique walk where it's it's almost like a fingerprint. Okay, maybe they're maybe testing shit to see if they can spot you fucking with mask on or without mask on, fuck knows. I don't think it's health because there's certain jobs and stuff like that where people wear these masks quite a lot and I don't, I don't see a correlation between um, being ill wearing a mask. If you wear it a lot, maybe, maybe. And I'm, I'm, hearing, I'm hearing a new thing called maskne. People are getting like acne because of these masks and they're calling it maskne. So there's fucking new diseases forming because of these fucking...
was Judd Skeptic Media, and I completely cracked up with his opening monologue for his live stream this week. Uh, because I sort of did the same thing, and I came home and reflected on my own reaction. It was like, oh, I'm under psychological warfare because, you know, I'm thinking I'm a crotchety old lady, but you know what? Here's a young man about my son's age responding the same way, really irritable. Okay, so, uh, you know, that's the point of my video. This is to create chaos, people against one another. And um, I, I couldn't have said it any better th than Jed in this. Um, he's from Scotland, and he has some great videos touring around. And I really like how his mind works. Now, just a disclaimer, his um, live streams can devolve. Certain subject matters could get taken over and it wears me out. But generally speaking, I really like Judd and how his mind works. Um, I, it cracked me up that he brought up Pink Floyd. I just did recently, you know, with a, a buyer beware video, reminded me of Comfortably Numb. And now he's talking about the mask. This also is from uh, Pink Floyd and the Wall from 1990. We're talking 30 years ago. Um, another, uh, I'm going to do another clip uh, with RFB and Nicholson, 1968. And, uh, you know, all of this is to provoke us to anger. And where am I going with this? Um, put on the whole armor of God. This is Jane, and thanks for stopping by. I do want to mention this, folks. Um, the reason I've kind of been a little distant away from everything, uh, Richie knows this, but uh, my mother had a stroke about two months ago. She had a stroke. And right now she is in a nursing home in Alabama. I'm not going to name the name. She's been there, and she's working on rehab. She's okay. She's getting stronger. But I'm going to tell you this. This is how stupid, talking about stupidness, okay? So they sent her to the nursing home. I can't go see her for the rehab. Uh, they quarantine her first for 14 days. So put it this way. they You, you can't go see them, but for the four, 14 days that, that they're in, they're even quarantined away from even everybody else. Okay, That is now, okay. horrible. Okay, now listen to this. It even gets worse. So what do I do? I said, okay, so, so I can't go see her. I can only talk to her on the phone. Sometimes we can do FaceTime or something, you know, to try to do that, but it's not the same. Um, she's quarantined or whatever. Here's what I did. I said, I'll hire a caregiver or a nurse to go spend time with her, play cards, talk with her, do whatever, about two or three or four hours a day. That's it. I'll pay for it. No insurance, whatever. I will pay for it, okay? Oh, no, we can't do that. So think about this. A nurse who goes in every day and she leaves every day, a nurse, okay? They come back in, they take the temperature, whatever. They can go in and out. But I can't hire a nurse to go in every day. Just like, right? By, I mean, absolutely, folks, if you don't understand what's going on. This, and here's the other thing that I want to speak to. Sorry, I'm... How about it, dude? Now, don't say sorry. I'm going to tell you something that I'm tired of hearing. If you think Donald Trump is the savior, folks, I'm telling you right now, this is way beyond Democrat, Republican Donald Trump. Big the, time. The, I have heard. Finally, my brethren. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 
that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak.